Coach Josh here, training for Warriors Portland, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about goals. We've got the new year coming up. I've, we've already seen a lot of folks get excited about changing their health, changing their life. And uh, I had a great conversation with one of our new students uh, a few days ago. And he said to me, hey, listen, I always used to focus on how heavy my lifts were. So the numbers on the bar, like how much weight could I lift, that was always my, my primary focus. And I felt really successful um, when, I, when I first started lifting. But now I, I'm, I'm successful in those lifts, but I'm not getting what I want out of my fitness. Like I'm not losing the weight. I'm not feeling good. My body hurts. So help me reframe. And what a great question to ask. How can you reframe your ideas about fitness and what it should be so that you can get what you want out of your, out of your training, out of your fitness, out of your life? So at Training for Warriors, I break down fitness goals into three parts. And you're going to recognize some of them because they're things that people talk about all the time. And some things uh, we don't talk about enough. But uh, basically, i got a triangle here. i got three points to the pyramid. On one side, the side that most people are most concerned about, right? Aesthetics. That's how you look, clothes fit, number on the scale, uh, body composition. Like, <clears throat> things that, that change the appearance of your body. All right? And that's, that's one facet of health how you look and appear. Uh, and another corner of the, the triangle is performance. So like what you're doing in the gym, uh, how much endurance you have, like literally what your body can do uh, regularly, how you feel doing daily tasks, like going up and down stairs, carrying groceries, things like that, playing with your kids. And then mobility, I put that in there because it's something that we talk about a lot here, and uh, that's the ability for you to feel free in your body to do all the things, reach over your head, touch your toes, tie your shoes, things like that. So that's another corner of the pyramid is performance, what your body can do, what your body looks like, and then longevity. So it is, what is your, what is your disease risk indicators? Uh, blood pressure, A1C, if you're at risk for diabetes or if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, um, you know, like uh, blood pressure, things that, things that affect your um, risk for real uh, diseases in, in the future or even today. And uh, these are things your doctor would talk to you about. Usually these are lab, there's lab tests that go along with this. We measure some stuff here at Training for Warriors, but we certainly aren't taking blood pressure for people. Um, but I would argue that if you're, if you're thinking about your fitness, it has to encompass a wide lens of factors in order for you to be successful. So if you, if you get that scale weight, but you feel terrible and tired all the time, and your blood pressure is really high, probably not going to be super happy with that outcome. Now, if you get that scale weight and you feel really good and your blood pressure is at a normal level and you're, you're at low risk for disease in the future, that's pretty exciting. Now you're thinking, I want to keep this going for the long haul, right? So when it comes to like fitness and setting goals and framing success for yourself, you want to make sure that success has a wider definition than perhaps the things that we come from the factory or maybe we thought about a lot in high school. Um, like how much do you bench, bro? You gotta have you gotta have some depth to that. <clears throat> so uh, consider all three points of the, the triangle and choose your focus, right? So like, if you're if you're trying to lose weight, it doesn't really matter what you can bench press. I mean, uh, it, besides feeling good about yourself and telling people at parties, if I'm at the party, uh, you're probably not, it's probably not gonna make your life a lot better. So you want to make sure you're focused on the things that you actually need. Right? You, gotta have, you have to have a priority. And like what you focus on will become um, the, you know, a, a bigger Im will have a bigger impact on how you feel about your training than, um, than a, you know, a goal that somebody might give you or that you might uh, unconsciously choose without, without being thoughtful about it. Um, and so, you know, asking better questions of yourself, like if, if you have neck pain and back pain and hip pain or whatever, if, if you're, if you're kind of like a little bit achy, then you have to ask yourself, what's the most important thing to you right now, today, in, in your fitness? Is it getting to that squat workout, or is it maybe doing some stretching and some mobility work, uh, doing a mobility class at TFW, or, or doing some stretching, doing some yoga, something to make you feel good? Like, you got to make sure that you're, the, the things that you're working on are the things that you actually need and the things that are going to make you the happiest. So that's that's um, that's a question of priority. And like 
you want to, like I always talk about being like really, really, really disciplined, really, really fixated, and, and really, really aggressive about staying in the process, not quitting, continuing to show up even when you don't feel like it, um, staying on plan even when you don't feel like it, or if you get off plan, just get right back on plan. And um, that's, that is attachment, right? That's being obsessed and attached about something. That's being about attached to the process. If you were, if you were, if, if my definition of success is showing up and doing something for my health every day, then it's easy to be successful because I'm, I'm a process focused, I'm attached to the process. However, if I'm obsessed with my bench press or any particular lift or any particular outcome, in the, like if I'm obsessed with a scale weight and that's the singular definition of whether or not I'm successful or happy, well, uh, that's, that's tough. That's not process oriented. You don't really control what happens on the scale. You control your behavior that leads to the scale weight, right? And that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a one-way ticket towards obsession or addiction. And sometimes obsessions can be healthy, right? You can be obsessed with fitness, but it will, hard, it will be difficult to be as happy and content and satisfied in the process and as, as, as easy and um, as, uh, or as, it'll be hard to have joy while you're in pursuit of those goals if you're obsessed about one particular thing. And so I would say, be attached to the process that you're in and have like room in your mind and in your heart for the, all of the different things you're going to need to do inside the process to get to where you want to go. Don't give up on your goals. Don't make room in your, in your life for failure or giving up on yourself. Be attached to not quitting until you get where you want to go, but be loose enough in your mind that none of these particular things are going to be um, a fixation point or an obstacle to keep you from moving forward. That was a lot of different things. In order to, to, to reframe your, your mindset around your goals, you have to ask yourself really good questions. What's going to give me the highest quality of life? What's going to make me the happiest? What's going to teach me something new, help me grow as a person, and make me, um, when I look in the mirror, make me happy with the person I see? And if, you're, if you dig and dig and dig and dig, there's some, there's some stuff in there that you haven't thought of, or that maybe you have thought of, but you haven't yet addressed. When you do that, you'll be able to take a step back, look at a wider lens of fitness, and choose the process and the program that's going to get you to your goals the fastest with the most fun. Do that. Ask better questions. Shift your focus so that you can bring forth the warrior within.